This is my four creative steps to self-healing. Ever have the feeling that dis-ease was controlling your life? Perhaps it's not even a chronic illness. Do you harbor anger? Resentment? Frustration? Maybe it's just me and I'm talking, but I've let all of these rule my life at some point. Therefore, in this video, I thought we'd take a look at four creative steps to healing. From it, I hope you'll gain insight into yourself, your behaviors and perhaps the way you deposit or withdraw from your own health currency. Step 1. Understand your energy. We've all heard about the aura that surrounds the body, but what could this possibly have to do with our health? According to Carolyn Miss in her audio program, Why People Don't Heal, the energetic exchange that happens within this field is where our thoughts become translated into energy. Or what she in terms called one's biography becoming their biology. Translation, these cycles or waves of energy that surround our body are a function of our thoughts. Thoughts are energy waves then, that affect our health in a positive or negative way. Let's look a little closer to see why? The contributors to this energy, surrounding the body are the seven major chakras. Chakra in Sanskrit means wheel or vortex. It may help to note that Miss refers to each energy wheel as a computer, one which collects and interprets information and perceptions the mind has about the world. It has been shown scientifically that each of these seven wheels of energy corresponds to a particular endocrine gland in the body. Translation, in light of the adage, you are what you eat. We could conclude with some degree of certainty that you are what you think. Step 2. Let go of old wounds. Now that you've been, hopefully, examining your thoughts and translating all of your negative energy into positive, Miss throws another curve ball. Would you agree with her that healing is unattractive? I needed some time to think about this, why in the world would healing be unattractive? Answer, according to Miss, our wounds give us power. And after careful contemplation, I've outlined three ways I have done this myself. Ask yourself, are you leading with your wounds? You'll know if you have done any of the following. 1. Used wounds to manipulate a situation or a person. Let's say we find a situation unsavory, scary or inflaming a personal hot button. Have you ever avoided a situation when you really needed to face head on? Or, how about this one, I just can't get into this relationship, I've been burned before. Okay, maybe I am just speaking to myself, but I admit, I've used my wounds more times than I care to admit to refrain from loving unconditionally. 2. Use them to attract other wounded souls who want to exchange in the wound game. I've also done this myself. In listening to another, share their wounds, I've given up compassion for wound anti, ill see you and raise you one. I agree, there is a difference between healing from a wound, and, leading with a wound, but, in my humble opinion, I'd be willing to bet that we know the difference, between being healthy and not. For example, I know when I'm healthy, and I can listen with empathy, void of getting out my toolbox to, fix, or laying out my wounds unsolicited. 3. Give up, our ability to listen. Dr. Bernie Siegel in his book, Peace, Love and Healing, basically says, listening is the work of angels. Many times listening is all we have in a situation when someone calls on us for help. If we express what Ms. Miss calls, woundology, or, leading with our wounds, we're saying that we can't stand the loss of power and desire all the attention for ourselves. Since I'm laying out all my laundry here today, and what would Miss have to say for this? Here's an example of the way I've led with my wounds. Recently someone confided in me about a situation where they had lost a loved one. While listening attentively, my mind searched its experiences for a similar event. All this so I could say, oh that's terrible. Don't feel too bad though, because I've been through things that is are much worse. 
to reclaim my character, however, and after I realized what was happening, I caught myself thinking. In reality, all this person really needed was my ear to listen unconditionally. Step 3. Learn to forgive yourself and others. The final two steps are remedies which can help heal our anger, resentment and frustration. Step 3 then, is simply forgiveness. For to forgive in earnest then takes our energy out of its emotional investment in the past. We give up the need to spend wasted energy making negative deposits into this account and to paraphrase miss, is the fastest way to bring our energy into real time. Translation, trust me, you'll know authentic forgiveness when you experience it. The body literally, lets go, of the weight of the past. Step 4, love yourself. The final creative step to healing. Loving yourself, of course. This is the most challenging concept, in my own opinion. Why? To begin we must start where we are, and love and accept ourselves for who we are, today. How does this help our health? It's simple. When we realize that we are stunting our personal growth and health through negative self-talk, we can then begin to love ourselves one piece at a time. Here's how it's done, note, beware, this practice may seem untraditional yet, if you'll consult Louise L. Hay's book, You Can Heal Your Life, you'll find that this is one of the remedies she used to heal herself from cancer. Every day spend 15 minutes in the mirror sending love to yourself. Start small by finding one part of yourself where you can find perfection. Each day, or week, or month choose new parts of yourself to love. Before long, you'll find an image of perfection before your eyes. And you'll have purified your energy. In closing, we could make all of these steps very simple. For there is only one step here that will make you healthy and happy. Remember, it's when we've learned to love ourselves that we can truly be healed. Thank you for watching and helping me to teach this. And please don't forget to leave me a comment below, and to click the like, share and subscribe button. Bye.